Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Nebulous. I'm your host, Val Death. Hi. I need my helmet. Look, hi. And we're back here at the spawn, continuing our work on the industrial furnace. I've got to come up with a cooler name for it. If you got a cool idea for a name, let me know. Uh, I finished uh, smelting glass using the furnace, of course. Uh, and it did it really fast. I had like 50 sand and it did it in like two minutes. Not even a minute. I wasn't even counting. It was, it was so fast. I, even, I just looked. It was just done. I should count it. Uh, but, you know, I haven't gotten more birch yet, so we need a little bit more birch wood. Uh, I got pressure plates in here. Kind of finalized the entrance. Got this glass wall in here that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to replace some of these blocks down here. But bring the stone down and get rid of some of the dirt, maybe. Um, but so you can see kind of what's going on with the circuit there. Put it on display. I don't want to hide it. I just want to cover up this room, uh, building with a roof. I think we're going to work on that a little bit right now since I got a good amount of wood and uh, stone. Since Kafer's used stone brick outline here, I'm going to do the same. Instead of using cobble, I'll just keep the cobble for the foundation and use stone brick for the outline. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to kind of work on the outline show you guys how I go about doing this. Uh, everyone's a little different. Oh, you know what I need? All right, <laughs> watch, I'm gonna come up and down like 20 times. I need some, oak. let's just get a bunch of logs there. Uh, we're pretty good, I got some more cobble, plenty of dirt. I think I got a good amount of wood on me. All right. Of course that wood is just, you know, not all the stairs, it's just stacking 20. All right, so. Let's get our stair up here. So what I'd like to do is extend the roof. And I want to have it overhang as well. So I mean by that, let's so like Kafers did, I want the outline to be in stone brick and the rest in wood, like we did here. But I want it to uh, protrude a block. So like this and that. So that would be a wood one. That would be a stone one. An upside down stone, and then that one, and then a wood on the inside, and then so this trim will be get up on top of the block there, stone, and the rest of it will be wood, like that. I think I missed an under one right there. Yep, we'll do that. And of course, I jumped down and ruined my dirt pillar here. Come on, dirt. I love that dirt. So, I'm going to have this one protrude, and we'll have a, a middle one go all the way down that way, and then also come out this side. Just like... Well, not just like that. Kind of like this right there. But without it continuing on, so like that'll be the end. If that makes sense, my babbling there. The music plan. I should probably turn that down. This looks about the middle right there. Let's go ahead and throw a log. Throw a log. I think that's the middle. Oh, that's not right. My silk touch one there. All right, so we'll come over here and we'll do the same. Stick one out and another one. There. Don't forget the upside down one. <laughs> upside down. Regular. Upside down. Regular. And I had miscounted. Or this is even. This is eight. That's correct. It's not a center in this one. Hmm. So I went with doing a even number to go by the golden ratios but I didn't make it odd so I could have a center point but I didn't want a center point because of how I had to fit it and I wanted a walkway so this was by design so I'm not going to be able to do my beam across this whole thing yeah maybe that's a good thing I do like the whole beam thing maybe I should do double beam or do a 4y Two by two, you know, like four blocks. No, that looks stupid. 
All right, so we're just gonna end it like this, and instead I'll do like that. So a curve, curve like that. So that's not bad. So imagine the same thing going all the way along the end. I'll leave that one. And so it'll come around this way. So let's try and do this side. Oops. That'll happen a million times. It's Minecraft. Survival. All right, now here, trick is you just gotta hit the bottom and it'll wrap that top one, see? All right, now here we're gonna come out, we're protruding one just like the other one, but I'm not gonna continue wrapping. This, this time we'll have another arch going up over this whole thing. And I do have a center point on this side, so I'll be able to have my log cross beam that way. So I'll show both styles. And I think that'll work out pretty good. Sun's going down now, as you can see. So we're going to have to go sleep, get some more food. But uh, this thing is sure coming together. And it's fully operational, too. And it does have fuel, so... Come on, use it. <laughs> I'll be back with you guys here on a new day. All right, welcome back. Let's uh, continue on. Use that good old dirt scaffolding. And do our same trick here. This time we know we have a center point, and this uh, looks like it's going to go higher than this point. So. See, that's the thing, like over here, see how this protrusion does not go any higher than the, the top part of the roof? The main section is, is here. I want this main section to be the long point, but this one is, is a larger area to make a huge, to make this whole thing a protrusion. It'll actually end up becoming the main part, and then this little thing is the part that's going to come off the side. Is that what I want to do? Hmm... Yeah, actually, I think that makes sense because then I'm gonna have my cross beam in the middle. So let's let's not talk, stop talking about it, and let's do it. Oh, it's gonna be high. You know what that means? That means a lot of wood. There it is. Oh. A lot of wood for the roof. And if I do this, that also means that it's large enough where I probably would actually want a second story. That's huge. That's what she said. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. That is just too crazy. But the building kind of demands it. Now I need to... Um, figure something out. Hmm. I'll be back. Alright everybody, welcome back. You can kind of see what I decided to do. I brought this uh, roof outline down to be the same height as the other side. And then in my middle, I've got my log kind of cross beam going all the way out, all the way across, sticking out. And then I'll have my little thing on the ends there. Um, do that little touch last. So now I just need to fill in all the roof with wood. I've got some wood left, but I'll probably need to go get some more. Uh, I actually, this is the next day since I was recording the last segment, and Kay first came up here and put a message board up, and finished this tree farm, she made their entrance here, let's take a look, nice little tree farm entrance, oak tree farm, trees for freeze, down here it's lit with uh, pumpkins, oh yep, full of, full of trees, and it's got the little water channels for all the 
you know, apples and saplings and stuff to fall down. You can pick it up. Oh, that's a lot of stone she got from doing all this. And some decor here. I imagine she'll uh, do more of that. It's probably make, for making charcoal. Ooh, wood! I might snatch some of this to finish my roof. <laughs> oh, if I need it. But there's, there's that, so let's go ahead and get working here. I want to at least get an outline of... And Kafer is also, I'm assuming, came up here and put this path up, because I didn't do the stone path. But keep him to the theme. I like it. Neil's set up an enchantment table over there in this quartz thing. Let's go take a look at that a little bit. You can see there's Nexus's horse leashed up out front. All right. You can see the machine back there. It works awesome. Like uh, you really got to have one of these in your world if you don't already. They're very cool. Smelts a stack real quick. And it's, it's, I mean, you can do it yourself, right, with a bunch of um, furnaces, but you have to click them in, you know, open up all the furnaces, do all that, do all that. With this machine, you don't. You just toss them into chests and let it rip. It's pretty, pretty cool. Alright, bada bing, bada boom. What I really need to do is just do a full outline first, but... So everyone kind of knows what it's going to look like. That's what I'll do, and then I'll fill it in. We'll use slabs on the top so nothing can spawn up here. Alright, here's where I am rotating it. Oh, I actually can go up one more. Well, look at that. I messed up. Hmm. Well, at least this way now the these things will wrap around it. Actually, before I hop down there, let me use that. That's correct. Gotta go get some more stone. And now like that. Like that. Cool. Hop down here, grab all this. Okay, so I'm going to fix this up. Uh, get working with some more of my wood here and hopefully get this thing wrapped up you know I could like I said make a second floor on this thing but I got other builds that I want to work on and I want to I want to get this thing this thing completed so let's at least try and get the roof done all right I'll be back all right so I've got the stairs all up here properly I increased this side or made these the same at the same point anyway where they where they come out I had to bring the stairs down one and have this extra kind of lip here to make it line up but it actually looks just fine just fine then I've got my little piece sticking out here from the log go do head do the same thing on the other one real quick you just put the stair up that way and then an upside down stair and then I just throw a torch on it We'll fill in these sections, of course, with wood. Um, right now, I'm trying to close off the roof with slabs. Just because that one don't slabs, I'm going to do the same thing. Could do some skylights or something, though. That might be cool. At least in the main area, not over this, not over the machine, but maybe over here. That might be cool. Let's see. So two by twos. There's the middle here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, four, five. So right there. Yep, lines up with that log. I should just look for that log. Whoops. No. Oh, cool. Still just did that. Okay, because I'm using these golden numbers, it all works out. So I could have a lot of skylights. <laughs> uh, I don't think I would do that. 
What about maybe just the middle ones? These four. Close up this one. Am I out of... No, there we go. That'd be cool. I'm just gotta... Oop. Ow. Yeah, that, that might be cool. I kind of like that. So we need to close off these. We'll do that with get a rid, which I think I'm just about out of actually. Oak. That's why I might go uh, snatch some from K first to uh, finish this bad boy off here. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill it in with wood. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. And then I'll maybe I'll just harvest that tree for a couple times. <laughs> but yeah, so let's take a look here. So just very simply. I don't want to do anything too fancy. I already got the wood cross beams in here, or the log, these things here. So that already gives it some definition. Here. And then let's real quickly. See what it looks like. Oh, almost fell off there. All right, there you go. It's kind of strange with this thing poking out, but uh, I actually kind of like them. On this building, it doesn't look the greatest because this comes out like that, but uh, it's not that bad. I really like these, the windows here looking into at the, the mechanism, at the furnace. Uh, right there. Oops. Yeah, I need to go get some more weed. There you go. Sucker's about done. So all I really gotta do is get some more iron, pay back Nexus, make another door here, get some more birch to finish off the floor, uh, and then put some kind of furnishings in here, you know, some some crafting benches of course, uh, maybe an anvil or something like that, and some sitting areas, I, I don't want, I don't need any like donations or anything like that, it's just to come up here and use this and be protected from mobs, put some glass up there, close that off. And we'll be done. I'm going to fill in this area, of course, with wood, put another log, like right there, right there, you know, finish it off. But I think this is going to do it for me this time. I can do the rest of this off camera, it's just a little cleanup work. And then we'll start moving on to the next project, the floating island. Next time, I think we'll try and at least lay that out. Uh, between, then and, between now and then, I'll do a whole lot of mining and resource gathering and take a big advantage of this furnace because I will need lots and lots and lots of smooth stone. Mm -hmm. Alright everybody, well thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.